Hi everyone, it's Helen here and welcome to another episode of my Halloween series. I haven't given it a name, it's just Halloween I guess. So in my last video we made these beautiful pouches here and we had a leftover piece which I told you to keep because it, it's, it relates to this video here. So out of this little off piece here we can make this lovely little gift box. Isn't that really nice? Okay, so let's pop these aside. I will link this video down below in case you haven't watched that one first but this is our off cut from the brown paper bag that I used and everything I've used today will be down below and I'm sticking with the same paper collection which is by Echo Park I Love Halloween and this is a digital version from Snap Click Supply and I'll leave that link down below as well as my printer and as well as the cardstock that I have printed it onto. Okay so I've been left with this piece here so we're going to be making this lovely acetate box let's move that aside. So this is a really easy and simple make to do. There will be a cutting guide on my website and the link for that will take you straight to the project page where um, the cutting guide is and where this video is and where all the supplies are as well so everything is in one place for you and it's all visual as well so if you prefer looking at things visually instead of looking at lists that's the place to go okay so if you're using a different size bag you may have to um, jiggle around your measurements here but if you're using the same bags as me then these are the measurements so this one here measures I don't think I wrote it down let's give you some manual measurements okay so these measure three and three eighths by two so you have one for top the top and the bottom now what these are going to do is it's going to add a nice decoration because we want it to look nice and it will also strengthen up the sides and the bottom of the bag so I have two of these ones for the outside just like that or I may just end up using these for the outside I'm not sure yet and these measure three and a quarter by one so these ones are a bit longer because I wanted it you know to go pretty much almost the whole length of the base of the bag and then we have the side pieces here so these measure one and set one and seven eighths by one so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to glue everything on there Okay, so I've gone for the black on the outside and all the patterned paper on the inside. So now we need to move over now and start making the acetate lid. Okay, so I'm using acetate from, uh, this is my favourite acetate, this is by Paper Mania and I will make sure there is a link for this down below these are 12 by 12 sheets so they're going to last a very long time and I did put my piece of acetate somewhere where is it maybe I'll put it back in the box back in here did I, where did I put it away okay I found it I found it so this measures six and one eighth by seven and three eighths and we're going to score it at two inches Okay. 
you need to press quite firmly on there so we're going to do two inches on all of the four sides Okay, so it should look like that, even though it's almost invisible. We have these score lines in, so all you have to do now is just fold those down. So if you are making this using a different size bag, you just need to take your measurements, uh, the dimensions for the inside of these okay so we now have something that looks like that so I'm going to grab my scissors again and it's easier for me to work this way around we are going to cut the corners off so it should look like that and then cut off every single corner so we end up with a rectangular cross shape. Okay, so you should have something that now looks like that. So let's grab our box. We can do a, a dry run here. Just fold everything in again. And then that should pop inside just like that. There we go. Okay, so to fill it with sweets, we basically put the sweets in this section just there. I need to go shopping for Halloween themed treats because I only have a few chocolates left over from last year so we're just going to use these butter mintos but I will probably end up filling these with different sweets so fill them in just like that I could probably fit a few more in so it's upside down and then we pretend this is like a lid let me pop it in like that and we turn it over and we have our sweets in there now so to secure it use a bit of twine i'm going to be sticking with the same twine as the last video which is the brights from the craft stash collection and i'm going to use orange i think but before we put that on i want to create a topper for that before i know where to put the twine so i do have a few things here that i haven't yet use so maybe i'll do a landscape version so i'm gonna fussy cut this little skeleton boy out because he is he is dressed up you can see his hands there he's he's dressed up he's ready for trick-or-treating he is ready to go Okay, so he's going to pop on there. Not sure if uh, that's going to fit, so I don't think I have any other little Halloween words that I can steal from these. Okay, I'm not going to have any sentiments on this one, it's just going to be the trick or treating skeleton boy. And I'm just going to pop that on with some foam pads. Maybe you could go on that way. Yeah, I'm going to pop him on here. And I'm going to cut out another one of these skeletons, these, um, the pumpkins. Yes, and I'll pop this one there, I think. Yep. Okay, I'm going to pop that on with glue. 
because this one's on dimension I'm just going to create these different little layers there we go pop that little pumpkin just there which means we can now add our twine it's going to go underneath and over the top It's these little bows here that really just add to the finishing touches, I think. There we go. I'm just going to play with this bow now just to sort it out. There we go. And that is our little acetate box made using the base from the paper bag. So there's no wastage from that paper bag at all. You can make a whole bunch of treats. So let me just clear up and then we can get all of today's makes out so that you can have a quick look at them all. Okay, so here we have our four projects made from two paper bags. Here they are. These are going to look so cute, especially if you have a little basket or a box or have them all laid out on the table or anything like that so these are really really nice so don't forget if you want to join the facebook group that's uh, paper crafting with helen griffin the link for that will be down below you can share anything that you've made from here or from any of my videos and any of my simply made crafts so if you like this video give me a thumbs up subscribe in the corner there because we're moving on to christmas after this halloween series and um, i'll see you again in my next video bye for now